everybody. There we go. Now I'm getting there. Um, it feels like a Monday, even though it's a Tuesday. So hey everybody, welcome to our comparison today of Inca Gold to Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. I have a little swatch here on top so you can't really see the lid, but I've already gotten questions on uh, my website about it and on YouTube, so I thought that this would be a good time so that we can actually take a look side by side. And I love to invite my Periscope friends to join me in the process because you guys ask great questions and you have me test it in ways that I might not test it myself. I might not think about it. By the way, I just published the review of the art, no, I won't call it Art Nouveau, but it's not Art Nouveau. It's Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. It just went on YouTube yesterday, last night. And it really is a different product. Now, packaging, let's just talk about packaging. It looks almost identical. With Platinum Inca Gold, you are getting, it says 2.2 ounces. This says it's 2.2 ounces. I think the difference is just in the way the jars are designed, although this definitely looks like you get some more. Maybe it's just because the lid is higher. But the consistency side by side, this is Nouveau, this is Platinum. So they both look very, very similar in the jars. They both have the same kind of metallic shine. And again, this is comparing the Platinums. And we will try the gold as well. It's a funny chemical smell. I'm smelling it. See, look at the things I do for you. So this has a chemically smell, which I was not expecting considering it's supposedly a beeswax product. Okay, now, clear my nose out. Let's try this one. This smells a little bit like house paint. It has that kind of house paint and latex paint smell, but not overpowering. Like, if you just have it underneath your nose, you're not going to smell it all. You have to really get up in there to get the smell right. So I just thought I would share that with you just in case. I know we have some people here who are a little sensitive to smells or have asthma, and I like to be able to give that little bit of consideration to you. So This is the Inca Gold. And it is very, ooh, it's a light and whippy. See, I don't remember my old stuff being this light and whippy. I'm going to be honest. The last stuff I had felt a lot firmer than this. But as I am just digging it out with my finger, texture, see how light it is. It's very light, and it makes little peaks like this. So after a while... This is the texture that you get. Embellishment mousse. You can see already has a slightly grainier texture. I don't want to say grainier. I want to say it's firmer. Ooh! <laughs> and I just... So, you see when I just, like, pulled it out, it came out in, like, a chunk. Okay? So it's got a little bit of chunkier to it. And I'm going to kind of work it with my finger here and hopefully not make it fall out. But kind of mix it up with my finger fluffiness. It is much more thick. This is much more like what I would consider a paste. Okay. So it's just something to keep in mind. I'm going to kind of work it up with my finger, but if you notice, I cannot whip it into soft peaks. Okay. Are you catching that? All right, so this is the part where I turn the camera around and I'm speeding things up a little bit so that I can kind of walk you through it in less time. So uh, I just want to make it clear that that is the Inca Gold on the left side of your screen and it will be that way for the rest of the demonstration and the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse will be to the right. So I just started off by doing a little bit of stenciling action here and I found that the Inca Gold was actually very smooth, very creamy, very easy to work through the stencil. There was just an absolute dream to work with because of its light, whippy type of texture. So now here I am using the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. And as you can see, it's just a little chunkier. Uh, it's kind of a difficult uh, texture to really describe well. But I tried to work it up a little bit just to kind of remix it to see if I could get rid of some of that chunkiness. And no, that's just really the texture of the product. And I apologize for having my hand here in the way. Um, now you can absolutely stencil with it. it. It works out pretty well. You just have to, I think, force it down through. You have to be a little more forceful as you extrude it through the stencil. Uh, it holds its peaks very well and it holds its dimension very nicely. And the most important thing is that both products 
are very, very shimmery and very, very shiny. And as I show you kind of back and forth here, both of them have the same amount of concentrated uh, metallic shimmer and color and dimensionality. So when it comes to this, it's actually a wash. Both work equally well. So for this next portion of the comparison, I'm actually comparing the gold colors of Inca Gold and Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. And again, the Inca Gold kind of wins for texture. It's very light, very creamy, um, really easy to use, even if you just want to put it on your finger and buff it. Whereas the Nouveau is a little firmer. Uh, I would recommend adding a little bit of water to it to thin it down. It's acrylic based, so you can do that. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is actually just kind of rub these products right onto the paper so we can take a look at at how they soak in and here we've got the Inca gold it goes down very smoothly it almost has a little bit of um, like a brushed effect to it uh, depending on how you work it in with your finger uh, the Nouveau is a slightly different color gold and I do want to point that out that it is more of a vintagey gold whereas the Inca gold is more of a sunshiny yellow so really here this is a lot to do with what color you like best. Both had the same kind of nice opaque coverage. You got those kind of like burnishy brush marks with your finger and they soaked into the paper and dried really fast. So again, the results are very, very similar. It just depends on kind of which color you like best. And for my next comparison test, I'm actually mixing the product with water. So again, we're starting off with the Inca Gold. Uh, I'm just mixing it with about five pumps of water from a mini mister into a little container. And I'm mixing it up to make basically a wash or a metallic paint. And as you can see, uh, after you stir it up for a while, it becomes very smooth and creamy and it goes onto the paper very nicely. I'd also like to point out that even though I've watered it down, really there is no loss of opacity or metallic shimmer, which makes this a really versatile product and it looks beautiful on this black paper. And now I'm repeating the same process with the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. And uh, I'm just mixing it up again with a little bit of water and we see that again, it melts down and kind of emulsifies into a beautiful metallic shimmery wash. It looks beautiful on this black paper. And again, there's no real loss of opacity. Um, and you can even put a couple of layers on if you like. Again, it's just a matter of which color you prefer. All right, I also just took a little bit on the finger and I just buffed it over the top of this embossed cardstock and both worked very well. So there was really also no measurable difference in that kind of an application. So now let's go on to some of our waterproofing tests. These samples have had a while to dry and what we're gonna do is just add a little bit of water to see how the dried product reacts. So even though this product is dry, when you add water to the Inca Gold, it starts to run again. When you add the water to the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse, the mica particles stay put. So this is starting to make me wonder, is this only when it's dry or how about if we heat set it? So in this next example, I actually heat set both examples for 10 seconds a piece. And then I added the water. And I apologize, my paper got flipped upside down because the way I was working on it. But you can see here that the Nouveau did not run, did not smudge, but yet again, the Inca gold started to bleed and the, the mica let loose. I also, by the way, stamped on each sample with a little bit of Hero Arts and um, both worked out pretty well. I wanna say the Nouveau might have been a little bit darker or been a little more vibrant, but I think that was pretty ne negligible. Um, however, the big thing is this water fastness. So let's review. You get the same amount of product, 2.2 ounces. The Inca Gold has 20 colors. It has an MSRP of $6.99 United States dollars. It's water reactive, which means the colors run when it's wet. And there have been many reports of the product going moldy. With the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse, you have 2.2 ounces. It has an MSRP of $7.99 United States dollars. It has that whipped butter texture, only 12 colors so far, but it's permanent after drying, and that means it's great for layering. 
I do hope that you have found this comparison helpful, that it'll help you make the right choice when you go to buy a product at the store. If it was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more crafty videos and comparisons, and always have a crafty day. Bye.